So how does this plant achieve its powers? It's not just through one phytochemical or it's not just through 10 phytochemicals or 50. Getting back to Jim Duke, he said that in a plant, any medicinally active plant, and, and this might be any plant, how do I know, there are at least 5,000 and probably more like 10,000 significantly biologically active phytochemicals in one plant and 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 I and you know I'd heard things somewhat similar to that before but when you hear it coming from grandfather duke <laughs> I tend to listen and um I sat back and I thought about that and I'm like oh my god that's you know in it, with the with the state of our scientific capability right now that is impossible to study scientifically the interaction of that many different phytochemicals that's pretty stunning when we sit back and we realize that every individual plant is so skilled at pharmacy really you know they might not be making those things with us in mind that's open to discussion um, but a plant is a master pharmacist for itself and it's juggling thousands and thousands and thousands of phytochemicals and here we are thinking we're big stuff because we can make a pill with one molecule in it. <laughs> right? So, um, so that's what's happening in the plant is synergy. Extremely complex synergy. This is what nature can do because nature's smarter than we are. Over here, we're all proud of ourselves if we come up with, you know, one uh, characteristically um, and uh, reliably active molecule and call it, you know, a medication. And so, great respect for the plants in that um, aspect. So, again, back to this weed that most people throw out. If you look at the color that I'm pointing at, Okay, that's an extremely powerful medicinal molecule that you're seeing when you see that color. And then you look over here in the leaves, you see sort of a yellowish cast. Again, very important molecules in there. An incredible number of companion molecules in that plant. So this is what we're getting at when we say synergy. So um, everything I've just said is an introduction basically to what is synergy in a medicinal plant and, and what makes it so different than you know our contemporary pharmaceutical approach. So let's go into that. We'll look at specific points of it. And then later on in the presentation, we'll get into the variability. I don't even want to say anything about that right now. because.